You've been asking for this video for months and I've finally delivered. So if you haven't seen my State of the Everyday I Union video where I talked about my background in machine learning, you might not know that I never took any machine learning classes when I was an undergrad at Cornell. And yet I was still able to spend a summer doing research at Stanford on medical AI as well as incorporate artificial intelligence into my PhD research on brain machine interfaces. How did I do it? Well, I took advantage of the wonders of the internet and found some online free courses that were taught by the world's experts in artificial intelligence. And today I'm going to share the top three resources that I used with all of you. As a quick disclaimer, this video is not sponsored and none of the companies that I'm going to talk about in this video know that I'm talking about them. Additionally, these are all opinions that are based on my experiences, so if I don't mention a course that you took and really liked, it's probably because I didn't take it. And I have included links to all of these resources in the description box if you'd like to start learning. Okay, let's get started. First is Andrew Nigg's machine learning class on Coursera. I'm pretty sure every self-taught machine learning developer starts with this class, and it makes sense because it's a really good class. Andrew Nigg is a former Stanford professor and one of the world's leading experts on artificial intelligence, and his course is a great intro into machine learning. You'll write functions from scratch to create logistic regressions, support vector machines, and neural networks. And I felt that this gave me a really solid understanding of the math and statistics that underlie all of these algorithms. You'll also write your own optimizers and develop your own training regimens. His lectures are whiteboard style, and in general, I find his teaching skills to be really good. The course assumes that you have a MATLAB subscription, which is not free, but you can also use Octave, which is like an online version of MATLAB, or you can translate the exercises into Python. You just won't be able to submit them for checking. In short, this is a really great place to start just to get like a crash course in how to create really simple machine learning or AI algorithms. And it's a really great fundamentals class on how the math behind AI works. My second favorite resource is Fast.ai's Practical Deep Learning Courses. So Fast.ai is this website, I guess it's a company, I'm not really sure, um, but it's run by a bunch of people who want to make AI education really accessible. Practical deep learning focuses less on the math and the statistics that underlie machine learning and more on quickly developing algorithms that are accurate. They help you understand what the range of existing models are, how to pick which model best suits the problem that you're trying to solve, and then how to optimize that model in order to make it as good as it can be. They have their own library like Keras and TensorFlow, and it's actually really, really good. It makes optimization a lot faster based on just methods that they've built into their system. Many people who take this course end up placing well in Kaggle competitions, which I'll talk about in my third point. And personally, I found their deep learning courses to be a fantastic resource for someone who's less interested in ML theory, or the math and statistics that underlie how algorithms work in developing new types of algorithms, and more interested in applied ML, or taking existing algorithms and applying them to new problems. The Fast.ai forum is also great, so they have a forum where you can talk to other people who are going through the course as you are, debug code issues, or share solutions with each other, and it's really well moderated and everyone's super friendly, so it's a really great resource. The deep learning course has two parts and is updated pretty much every year, and I definitely recommend taking both parts. A quick note on Fast.ai, so their courses require GPUs. If you have a laptop or a computer that already has a GPU, such as a gaming computer, then you're good. But if you don't, then they offer a lot of different avenues for you to get access to GPUs. This is usually through cloud servers where you can rent GPU time on a server. And for most of them, if you are working with Fast.ai, it is free for you to use, whereas you would normally pay some hourly fee for running on the GPU and then some usually monthly fee for data storage. Third and last on the list is Kaggle. Kaggle is this data science competition website. They host programming competitions where users can win anything from an online gold medal to literal thousands of dollars. While their website focuses on data science broadly, many of their competitions are actually focused on asking you to apply machine learning to a specific problem. And these are often unsolved problems. Researchers in industry and academia have set up Kaggle competitions when they want to get a lot of people to try to resolve a problem in science, in research, that they've just been unable to solve so far. While I've never won any of the competitions, Kaggle has smaller competitions for new developers who are new to machine learning and just getting their feet wet. 
and it gives you real world problems that you can solve. They give you full data sets for all of the competitions, although in some competitions you can also bring in external data sets if you'd like. You can develop your code through their online platform, and they let you use GPUs for free through their GPU server. I found Kaggle really helpful for translating textbook information to real world problems. I think that that's a roadblock that a lot of people hit in machine learning, given that you often need data sets that are much larger than the average person is going to be storing on their computer. And I highly recommend checking them out. And that's how I learned how to develop machine learning algorithms. Hopefully you find this video helpful. If there are other resources that you use that you found helpful, definitely let me know in the comments so that people can check those out. I'm always interested in learning about new tools and educational resources for AI developers. Personally, I think that all of the resources that I mentioned are a great way to get a head start in the field of applied machine learning. If you're interested in the theory side of things, so the math and statistics that underlie these algorithms, I can make a video on other resources for that. Personally, I've just started taking classes at MIT that delve into those topics to better understand them, but I'd definitely be interested in seeing what kind of online resources there are for that as well. And if you know any, you can also let me know in the comments section. That's what I've got for you guys today. If you like this video, you can let me know by subscribing to my channel and smashing that like button. You can also support me on Patreon. Thank you so much to all of my current patrons. Otherwise, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.